Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. In this video, we will try to learn about the relative roots and relative to in angular routing. So it's a short video, something like that. So I will try to explain you clearly. In angular, when you navigate between the roots, you can specify roots either as an absolute or a relative. A relative root is determined. A relative root is determined based on the current route. For example, let's say that if you are on the path something like example, let's say the slash home and you want to navigate to slash home slash items means then you can append the route items relative to the current route. So again, the next one is the relative to property allows you to specify a relative route based on the activated route instance, which represents the current route the user is on. So let's try, I will try to explain you the step by step how you can able to achieve this one. So for this one, you will create two routes, a parent route and also a child route. We will use the relative to property to navigate from the home route to the items route. So let's try to, I will try to explain you. For this one, what I will try to do it is, I will create two routes that is nothing but ng gc home and I will create another one items. So we will have a two components items and let it, it will take some time to implement and also I will create an another component also ng gc items so i am creating these two components let us create it so here the two components has been created so for this one what i will try to do is i will create the two roots that is nothing but path so whenever you are having a path slash home and i will load the component home component okay home component and the next one which i will be having is the path and i will be having home slash items so i will try to keep it like this so that you will be able, able to understand. So just here I am targeting the relative thing. So you will be able to, I have an idea on this one. So these are the two components which I will be having it. So now we will be providing these routers and all those things. So fine. So let's go to the home component. <coughs> this one. So now if I try to click on slash home. Okay. And here you will be able to see the homeworks. So fine. So let's go to the home component and I will close these all the things. And here I will be opening the home component.ts file and let's open this HTML file also for this one. So I will open the HTML file <coughs> and here I am having h1. So here I will open the home component fine. And here instead of having an anchor link, what I want to do it is I will create a button. Okay. I will show you the button thing why it is. So normal let's I will try to show you a uh, router link also. So for example, let's say that I want to move to the uh, a router link. I will be using the router link. Okay. And here what we will be having something like if I want to move means home slash items will have it. And these all router link active and all those things. I don't want to concentrate more on this one. So here go to items. <coughs> I will be having something like this. And if you try to see here, so a router link here, we are able to have it. And here I can import the router link here link like this now if you try to see if you go into the home and if i click on this one so you will be able to see that we have moved to the item slash item works now for example let's say that if you are having only the items okay so what will happen here so you will be able to see that you'll be able to see localhost items is there so that means the page is not there fine but if i remove this one means so what will happen is in the router link if i click on this one See it again went into the item works. Why? Because so the router link which we are trying to have it here, it is relative to the current the current one. So here the current one is nothing but slash home. So the items URL, the path will be appended to this home slash home slash items. If you don't mention the slash here. So this is related to the anchor link. But if you want to programmatically navigate to the page means let's say that I am having the same thing like a button. Okay. So go to items so we have i will be having here like this so for this one i will be having a click event click is equal to go to item okay so this is the method which i will be having so now in our home component.ts file so here i will be pro i need to provide it like this so here what i need to do so in order to navigate from one page to another what i need to do it is so if you try to see here so here i will be able to see if i go back here here i will be able to see go to it if i click on this one so I need to move to the slash home slash items. Okay. So if I move, if I want to move from to the slash home slash items means what we need to do here. So first of all, we need to have an router. 
so let's try to inject the router here constructor private router is equal to which need to be imported from the router angular router okay so router and also we need to <coughs> that's it so now we have a router so what i will so in the router you will be having a method in such a way that this dot router dot navigate okay and here you can provide the items so here you need to provide the items that's it so now when you click on this go to items here so you will be able to see that local host slash items we are able to see it so that means it is directly it is an absolute path it is directly moving so if you want to provide it total means so you need to provide slash home slash items now if you go back and if you click on this one so now i am able to go to the items but here we know that we are already in the home component so that means this home component we are already in this one so it, the item should be relative to this current route so if you want to make this one relative to this current route means what we need to do it is so we need to inject the private route activated route so here i need to provide this activated route and here what we need to do we need to provide items okay and here if you try to refresh this page so we are moving it to the slash item list now here you need to provide a second argument that is nothing but relative to relative to what is on this dot route it should be relative to the the current route that's it so now if you try to click on this go to items see this time it we have directly moved into the slash home slash items instead of the slash items so this is how you will be having the application so now here we have imported the router and the activated route the router is used for navigation while the activated route represents the current route this allows you to set the basis for the relative navigation and in this one the first parameter is the array of route segments to append to the current route and the second parameter is an object where the relative to is set to the current activated route that is nothing but here this dot route this tells the angler to append the items route to the current route rather than starting from the root so that is one thing so this is how you will be trying to implement the relative to in the angler so now for example let's say that if you try to see here in our example previous example in the same thing you are having first component child components like this right if you check here app.routes.ts file so here we are having first component slash child a slash child b so that means here we are having first component slash child a slash child b so now here you can able to implement the same thing so for example if you try to go to the first component.ts file and in this one if you are having an html file so for example let's say that if you want to implement for this anchor link so here you can add something like href is equal to hash or something like that you can use it okay and here at the rate click okay and here go to child b so just i will try you can have a button also just i am trying to use it so i am passing the dollar event to this one so here in this one first component at es file where is this first component yeah here i will be having this first component dot shall be and it is of event of event and i will do event dot prevent default and here we need to inject the router and the route constructor and here you will be having private router of type router which should be imported from the angular router private route also we will be having which is an activated route that's it so now if you want to move it means what you can do this dot router dot navigate so from to where we need to do child b right so here i can use the child b so in this place it will be child hyphen b and here you need to do the relative relative to this dot route that's it so now if you try to see the same output so now we are in the child a and if i click on this one so now we are moving it to the child b so this is how you can able to implement the relative to in the angular hope you understood about this relative to concept in the angular if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you